Why does a majority of Reddit hate landlords? For the people that hate landlords what is your solution or alternative? I understand the hate for big companies buying up properties, but a person or family owning a rental property or two, maintaining it and fixing anything that breaks what is the issue? Where are you supposed to live if you aren't ready to buy a home and can't stay with family? Serious question. Edit to add that I am not a landlord I am actually renting currently as well. Our landlord didn't fix a raccoon problem in our attic for six months. His response is, are they loud? And I will fix it but I have other properties to manage as well finally fixed it, but didn't clean up the mess it made. There is still currently raccoon shit in the attic we pay for that we can not use. He also has children, and he wouldn't let them live in a raccoon UFC attic. Landlords suck because their lack of humanity is staggering. Because our homes are just dollar signs. And most landlords shouldn't be allowed to own properties they genuinely couldn't give a fuck less about. Solutions are. A housing co-op. A community land trust. A right of first refusal for non-profits like CLTs to get housing developments. If someone is self-employed and they are bad at their job, they won't get clients. If someone is a worker and bad at their job, they won't have this job for too long. But if someone owns property they don't need to live in, it doesn't matter how bad of a landlord one is, there will always be people desperate enough to take that rental agreement. I live in, in a two-bedroom apartment since 2012 and pay $1,200. Earlier this year someone left a one-bedroom where I live and I found out the landlord jacked up the price from $1,400 to $1,800. The second I leave he's definitely setting mine at nearly an extra grand. It's crazy to think someone is paying more than what I am for a lot less in the same building. Because there is a huge shortage of affordable housing in this country and landlords are hogging a lot of these houses for profit while regular people struggle to find somewhere to live. Edit by this country I meant the UK. I've just realized I'm not on our Ask UK. Most landlords today are corporations. This is very, very bad. Because it's easier for landlords to buy a house, because they have other assets to put up. So the seller's banks are more confident that their offer gets accepted. The only houses I can afford are, not even good enough for the low-income housing projects in my city. They won't touch them, and I have had accepted offers get turned away because the house was in too bad of a condition. And it is that way because a landlord rented it, and never maintained it, now wants to sell because of the market is nice, and it needs massive work done. Small, good, landlords don't bother me. If granny dies and they decide to rent out her house. Fine. If they upgrade homes and decide to rent out their starter home, fine. As long as they aren't slum lords, no issue. Not everyone can or should buy a house. Slum lords and corporations all suck. Buying up all available property for profit sucks. The simple answer is that unlike being a doctor, chef, etc., holding land inherently does not provide value to society, it strictly only provides value to the holder, and in a sense, harms society on a large scale. In my case, because the motherfucker grinned about how much money he was saving by hiring dudes from the Home Depot parking lot to build the addition on the house, so he could charge us more rent, and those Home Depot guys didn't ground the electrical system, causing the house to catch fire and burn to the ground, killing my daughter's cat and forcing me to crawl across the floor of the burning kitchen and break a window to get out. The worst landlords are the most prolific, so a lot of people have awful experiences with them. I don't think people really hate landlords, but exploitation. From a leftist perspective, being a landlord is what's called rent-seeking, increasing one's wealth while providing nothing to society. Essentially being a landlord allows a wealthy person to extract money from less wealthy people, simple because they can afford to own property and other people can't. Because in the UK they bought up all the housing when mortgages were cheap and now there's nothing for people like me to buy so I'm stuck forever feathering their greedy nests and getting poorer and poorer with it. Because they ignore their job duties and do anything possible to save a penny while charging their tenants insane amounts of rent. 
Simple bro, it's because most landlords usually thinks they are some kind of boss and the shit, when in reality the most he did was own a house. Power trips are insane in this class. Also, housing is a big problem now, not everybody has where to live and they don't rise the rent for inflation, but for lucrative reasons. So yeah, fuck landlords, sell your house dips hits. How can I afford rent but don't have the chance to buy the house for a similar payment? The situation is a constant reminder of the current lack of economic mobility. Because landlords shouldn't exist. Sadly, renting is another tax on poor people. I grew up moving from rental to rental. 18 moves in my first 18 years. The phrase I liked was that most I know some very good ones landlords provide housing like scalpers provide concert tickets. They got there first, bought it up and then sell it on to people who really need it at a profit. A lot of dips hits. My landlord told me to not use the hose before 9pm because then he doesn't have water, I told him it's his fault because he buys everything cheap and the water company or whatever is shit and he got upset. He's the biggest scumbag ever and he's the greediest POS to ever exist. There are more empty houses in America than there are unhoused, fuck land leeches. People could buy homes if mortgages actually made sense though. I can get a mortgage for say £300 a month but can pay £400 in that doesn't matter to the mortgage company. You have to sign your life away to M and then your parents as a guarantee to even be considered. Now I'm fortunate that my rented home is owned by a friend so they just let me do what I want with it, but that ain't the case for a lot of rented properties. Having the capital to buy up property and sell it at an inflated price to people who need housing to survive yet can't afford it is neither an impressive skill nor a service worthy of respect it is corruption at the highest level. A landlord profits off of the poor while contributing nothing to society themselves in the process. What is not to hate? It's an automatic response to giving them more than half of your money every month. Greedy prices that don't reflect the Victorian-style living conditions. They don't clean places or fix things, but still expect silly amounts of money. I believe, from a UK point of view, it's that private landlords bought up a lot of properties, hoarded them, with pushed-up house prices, that then forced families out of the market. This pushes folk into rented property. On top of that, as others have pointed out, the need to do as little as possible for the tenants. To add to what many are saying about landlords being proud of screwing people over if these landlords didn't treat housing as a get-rich-quick scheme then housing would be more affordable for most people. The house prices skyrocketing in value is not simply because there are more people than houses. It's also people treating property as stocks that are useless unless they make money instead of homes in which people live. If they were treated as homes first and foremost then prices would drop and first home buyers would be more adequately able to afford a place to buy. Landlords inherently make housing more expensive by commodifying it and trying to turn a profit from it. Landlords are fine. Shitty landlords are not. There's no reason people should be paying $1,200 for a one-bedroom, one-bathroom, combined kitchen-living room apartment. Considering there's usually always bug problems appliances that don't get fixed. A. Watch the movie Barbarian 2022. B. Research the Irish famine genocide and how greedy landlords did nothing while millions of people starved and were removed from their land forcibly. Like many things in the US, landlords are an unnecessary middleman driving costs up by buying up houses in which they do not intend to live. There is an apartment in my house, and the mortgage is far too expensive for me I'm widowed, but the person living in it has a voucher. I still don't love the concept, but the apartment would sit vacant and the person wouldn't have it to live in, so I think it's mutually beneficial for us both. I really lucked out because I would never be able to do this as a business and I hope my person stays forever. Landlords buying up houses for investments, driving up prices, making it harder for people to own their own houses. For the vast majority of renters, landlords fundamentally provide no value. It's the least efficient form of capitalism and it produces nothing. Free government taxpayer housing is the solution. 